are you hearing a lot about wildfires? May through September is peak wildfire season in Canada. But what exactly are wildfires? And how do they start? Let's dive into the science behind wildfires. Wildfires are unplanned and uncontrolled fires that burn trees, grass, or other plants. They can spread in all kinds of environments and threaten human lives. But wildfires don't just spring up out of nowhere. You need three things to start a wildfire. Fuel, like dry wood or plants. Oxygen, which is all around us in the air. And an ignition source, like a lightning bolt or a campfire. All three elements are also needed to keep a fire going. Remember these, we're going to come back to them later. To have a fire, you have to have an ignition source, something to get it started. Lightning is the most common ignition source in Canada, but human activities can also be the start. Humans start wildfires in several ways, either by accident or on purpose. For example, a campfire that isn't properly put out, fireworks, downed power lines, sparks from vehicles or industrial equipment, throwing out burning items like cigarettes, and arson, which is when someone starts a fire on purpose to cause harm. The easiest way to fight a wildfire? Stop it from starting to begin with. Remember, human-caused wildfires are preventable, so be careful when you're outside or camping. Once a fire is ignited and burning, it can spread. A fire's growth depends on three elements, the landscape, weather, and fuel. Landscape plays a big role in how a fire spreads. For example, fires tend to spread fastest uphill. That's because the flames are closer to the fuel going uphill and most wind currents blow up. Next are weather conditions. A wildfire's enemy is wet weather. A fire can't grow in rain and cool temperatures. Fires thrive in hot and dry conditions. That's because dry wood and plants are very flammable. The drier they are, the faster a fire will spread. Another weather factor is wind. When there's no wind or a hill, a fire will travel in the shape of a circle. Kind of like a donut, but less delicious. When we add wind, the fire gets pushed and can spread faster. Okay, that's a lot to take in. While wildfires sound scary, something to remember is that they can actually be good for nature. Wait, fires can be good for forests? Yep, you heard that right. Let me explain. Fires are a natural part of our ecosystems. They help maintain a healthy biodiversity by creating opportunities for new plants and species to grow in place of what was burned and they can help prevent bigger fires by burning fuel, like dried plants. If every fire gets put out, fuel builds up, and that can mean more serious fires down the line. Weird, right? But that doesn't mean we should never put fires out. When fires get out of control or close to places where people live, then something has to be done. All right, how do we put out a fire that's out of hand? Remember the three elements needed to start one? fuel, oxygen, and ignition source? To put out a fire, firefighters need to remove the heat, fuel, or oxygen to stop the fire from growing. Firefighters can do this in a few different ways. They can spray the fire with water or dig a trench that can create a barrier and stop it from spreading. They can also use planes to drop firefighting chemicals or water onto difficult to reach areas. Remember, if you see smoke or fire, Call Wildfire Services or 911 immediately. So, that's how wildfires start and spread. For tips on how to prevent them, check out cbckidsnews.ca. Thanks for watching. For CBC Kids News, I'm Sabrina Aaron.